there's this movie. It's this new horror movie. And just in the season of where things have gotten so racial and things have gotten so complex, what we're really seeing here now is a movie that is about a white lady that is in this what looks like a predominantly white neighborhood, and she is apparently racist. And there's this black couple that's moving in to the house to assimilate into the neighborhood, and they have to deal with this racist white lady. What's the name of the movie called, you might ask? It's called, you guessed it, Karen. Check this out. I guess this is a long way from East Point. Baby, you just gotta give it a chance. Tell me about your new neighbors. They're black. Do you mind keeping it down? If you don't comply, I'll tell the manager. Somebody's taking home security serious. Hi, I am Karen Drexler, I'm your neighbor. You need to be taking your trash cans off the curb right when the trash is picked up. Is she nice? Yeah. She's nice. Wait a minute, we have a white entitled neighbor named Karen. Karen, hey, enjoy yourself. There she is slaving away in the kitchen. I've come across some very suspecting teenagers. Suspecting? Can you please hurry up? Please, it's, they're very aggressive, yep. I left my wallet with my ID at home. Leave us alone, we didn't do anything. How the heck did you end up moving to this neighborhood? Next thing you know, we have criminals. You take care of him, and I will take care of her. Would you mind stepping out of the car? My office has uncovered some disturbing information on her and her brother. She doesn't like black people. We have a search warrant. Well, I'm black. I know, she doesn't like you either. I want to sell the house. What do I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living next door to a racist. You went in her house? You wouldn't want your wife to know our little secret, right? There's not standard police procedure back there. What do we have here? We you got a hammer. Everything looks like nails. You people are very angry. Shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> Bad things happen to people that don't comply. I don't know about you, but that looks a lot like an SNL skit. It doesn't look real. It doesn't look like somebody would be dumb enough to make a movie like this. But of course they are because we live in this timeline where pretty much anything goes. And especially if it's dealing with attacking white people. And that's basically what this movie is set out to do. So, of course, you have them in there making the line, I see you slaving away over there in front of the, in, in the kitchen. It got me, I mean, come on, guys. Like, really? Really? It's just an expression. People say that all the time. Like, oh, I really slaved over this one. It's not a racist remark. It never has been. Nobody's ever construed it as being that way. But do you see the problem here? Do you see the issue? It's a movie that is designed to further divide. It's a movie that is designed to put ideas in people's heads that may not even have them in their heads. The fact is, is who is this movie really for at the end of the day? Because is it for the black liberals that already, that maybe for some reason think this is how the real world is? Because it's not how the real world is. The other thing too is that, as is the case with many of these different woke mediums and movies or whatnot, they tend to wind up trying to be so woke that they're actually patronizing black people in and of itself. And they don't even realize it because they're so busy trying to attack the, the white woman named Karen that they're ignoring the other messaging that they're implying here. So if you're listening to this just on the audio, you, you effectively have this fairly nice neighborhood that this, this couple, uh, this black couple is moving into. And it's kind of implied that they're around a bunch of white people in this fairly nice neighborhood. So what are you implying? Are you implying that it's impossible for black people to move to a white neighborhood? Are you implying that what is probably actually very true, that there aren't any really nice majority black neighborhoods. I mean, think about that for a second. That, that really is the truth. Or else I'm assuming maybe they would have moved there. But the question is, why aren't there any nice majority black neighborhoods? That's the real question we must ask. Maybe it's an issue with the fact that the black community has something it needs to solve that's its own problem. Without trying to blame all the external stuff in the world that has nothing to do with that, 
Maybe it's an inner look into your own community to try and figure out why that is. You, you can find poor white neighborhoods that are predominantly white neighborhoods. You can find poor black neighborhoods fairly easily as well. You can find nicer majority white neighborhoods, but you cannot find nice majority black neighborhoods. So they show this black couple moving into a white neighborhood, if you want to call it that. And once again, all of a sudden they're dealing with racism and whatnot, but it's, it's none of it's straightforward. None of it's on the nose. It's just them trying to make it seem like, Oh, this person's so mean. They're kicking over their trash can and everything. It's really childish and stupid. And, and I, once again, I don't really know exactly who this movie is supposed to be for because ultimately you're making a movie that's set up to basically say black people automatically good for whatever reason. White woman automatically bad for whatever reason. I mean, it's stuff like this, by the way, that fuels these other white women that have gotten beaten by other black people on the street. I mean, I just played a clip on the last episode talking about or showing this uh, during the Juneteenth weekend. On that day, you had literally a swarm of different black women beating up this white lady for whatever reason. Context or not, you know that that's perfectly deemed as okay right now to them. Because she might have been a Karen. And that's so bad. That's, that's not how we should be looking at our societies whatsoever. But once again, you know, we're approaching real equality real fast now that we have this movie out, right? I mean, is that really how we're looking at this? Is this movie helping to sow the seeds of equality amongst people? A movie that is dedicated to saying that black couple good, white lady bad solely because of race? Is that where we're at right now? This isn't the real world. I hope nobody's watching this. Like I said, I, I kind of want to watch it just so I can laugh at it. it. It's definitely something to laugh at because it's preposterous. It's not a real situation whatsoever. All of the people, all of the black people that have accomplished something. I'm talking even Don Lemon, folks. All of them have moved to predominantly white neighborhoods. Even the co-founder of BLM did the exact same thing. Moved to a 98% white neighborhood. I don't think that they're moving in there worrying, oh, are they going to think we're racist? Are they going to be racist neighbors? and They're going to be sexist neighbors? They're not worried about all of that. That's literally not their concern because they know better. They know better. They made something with their lives or in many situations, maybe they embezzled that money like the BLM person did. But either way, they made sure they got right out of that black neighborhood because the black neighborhood is not any better. I mean, let's imagine right now if uh, just a normal white couple right now were to go move into a black neighborhood in, in today's political climate with movies like this out. Do you think they're going to be treated very nicely right now when you have movies like this that are literally designed to divide and to pit one against another? Yeah, I, I, I would think so. I would think so. So we'll see what takes place with this. Once again, I'm, I'm curious to see it and maybe I'll kind of give a review of the movie once I do see it, but it would be purely because it's just an absolute joke. You just watched a clip from The William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.